Tonight in our 7 News flashback, Sydney's trams. The city once had one of the largest networks in the world. For a hundred years they kept the city moving before they were taken out of service in 1961. Five decades on, they're making a comeback. This was the end of the line for Sydney's trams more than 50 years ago. A burning sacrifice to what was then considered progress. With 1,600 cars on more than 290 kilometres of track, Sydney used to have one of the biggest tram systems in the world. In 1945, that was the absolute peak of passengers when there was only 1.5 million people living in Sydney and there were 404 million people rode on the trams in that year, 1945. Horse-drawn trams like this used to plod along Sydney streets in 1861. The hay burners then made way for coal burners. The steam trams could mount a good turn of speed, hence the term shooting through. But the pollution and noise proved electric trams were just the ticket. This 1898 antique still operates today at Sydney's Tramway Museum, which maintains remnants of the fleet that kept Sydney moving for a century. Approaching King Street. Trundling along George Street, this rare film from 1907 shows the long gone poles and wires used to power the trams. Down the road a few decades later, you can see trams at Circular Quay during Sydney's rush hour in the 1920s. They also ferried passengers across the Harbour Bridge when it opened in 1932. A long-lost landmark, Fort Macquarie, with Sydney's world-class tram depot right on Sydney Harbour. The corridor tram arrives at Fort Macquarie terminus. That same terminus was terminated, replacing trams with sails. Randwick Racecourse provided the busiest tramway traffic in Sydney. It's estimated more than a 1,000 punters a minute were moved by Sydney trams, but changing times meant the system was no longer a safe bet. There was a political push uh, in English-speaking countries around the world to uh, start introducing motor buses on the basis that they were more flexible. And they experimented with trolley buses briefly at Cogra in 1937. In February 1961, the trams were stopped in their tracks. These were the last services to run. Their destination, history and the wreckers yard. Sydney's first tram of the future hit the tracks early this morning. 36 years later, the trams returned, reintroduced as light rail. I think uh, swiftly gliding trams in Sydney streets is uh, a great ideal. Clean, modern, efficient public transport. Later this year, the seven kilometre track from the city to Lilyfield will almost double when it extends to Dulwich Hill. And once again, there are plans to have trams running down George Street with a second line from the CBD to the eastern suburbs. Sydney's new trams arrived in December. It's taken decades, but looks like the city's love affair with trams is back on track.